Chinetu and Yannick Monora joining us for this uh, final uh, press conference here at uh, BK Arena in uh, Kigali. The final score of the game tonight was 72 points for Petro de Luanda and uh, 83 points for US Monesty. Uh, good evening again, coach, and congratulations for this brilliant execution of basketball, the quality of the product on the court. Um, it was a great game of basketball. I was sitting with some of the, our guests and our fans, and they said they have never seen this kind of final. Do you share in this, uh, in this uh, assessment from the fans? Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, I want to say thank you for BIL. BIL because um, they allowed we compete in this level, I think. Play in Africa with this level, it's very important for us. So our team uh, needed every time to play this, this game, this tournament. So I'm, uh, I'm thankful for Bo, BIL, uh, for this competition. For my players, uh, I want to say thank, and I'm proud of them because <laughs> I don't have I, I don't have doubts, man. They did the best. We played almost 40 minutes, but in the final, the almost it's not enough. So I'm proud of my players, my club, Petro de Luanda, uh, managers, my staff. So <laughs> I believe five minutes, five minutes. Uh, we lost the game. Yeah. Yannick, five minutes, as the coach said, it was a very exciting game, and uh, your team put up a very good show, um, leading the scoring um, for uh, 24, 24, 24, 24 minutes in the game. That's, that's pretty significant. Yannick, how, how do you feel tonight? Okay, take the microphone. Okay. Still, I mean. Yeah, the microphone is fine. Good. Thank you, Yannick. Go ahead. Um, it's tough, you know, when you when you look at the ball score as a player, and I'm looking right here. I had eight turnovers, so he's on me. As a part of one of the vet on this team, can really play a final game like that, you know, as. Uh, he decided to come back to help a team like Petro de Luanda. You know, when I decided to join the team, it was because we were trying to win. You know, it was clear to everybody we want to win, and we were like five minutes away. Only we could get stopped in the five minute, we would be the champion. But congratulations to Monastery. They did a good job. They got stopped when they, most, they needed it and they rebound, you know, so what can we say? You just got to look at ourselves in the mirror, take it to the chin and regroup. I'm proud of our team, proud of our young player. We definitely got a lot of talent. Uh, we're going to get better as a team and try to make another run next year. It wasn't a problem as, as long as you were winning. Um, but tonight, in the end, you weren't able to, to make it over the line, and, and it really cost you. Um, do you think that you, you know the root cause of that issue? Sorry, you know that? Can you repeat the question? Sorry? What caused, um, he was asking, what caused the... the, the uh, uh, yeah. So that the we need to to understand the there is another team the opponent they play very well in this this these moments mm. they play hard tough tough with too much contact they play hard because they could lose the game so they play aggressive with a 
uh, aggressive defense, and we stop it. We make the panic some for five minutes. So uh, I believe that my team did the best that they can do. I I'm responsible for this result. I'm responsible for this. I know my team did the best. The the what? <coughs> Good evening and welcome once again to this post-game press conference of the finals of the uh, Basketball Africa League between Club Petroleos de Luanda from Angola and Union Sportif Monasterian from Tunisia. Um, the final score of the game, 72 points for Petro de Luanda and 83 points for U.S. Monastery. Um, we have with us um, Michael Dixon, who is uh, MVP for this season's Basketball Africa League and uh, Coach Modrak Perjic. Coach and uh, Michael, congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations Thanks, once again. <coughs> um, I want the, the, uh, the press has been waiting for you here um, quite for long minutes. And of course, to savour um, this great day in history for this second uh, expanded season of the Basketball Africa League. Um, losing at last year's finals, coming back strong this year to be BL champion. Coach, how are you feeling tonight? Uh, we, are, we still, you know, <clears throat> are very emotional. Uh, it's true that this team was last year in the final. Mm -hmm. This year won the final. Mm -hmm. This year we are champion. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think it's two different teams. You know, mm -hmm. on the name of Monastir, mm -hmm. that team was uh, maybe a better, even better roster. I mean, more players in the roster. Uh, these guys, this year, you know, was really unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Honestly, all of them. Mike was MVP, but that you know, we create one great chemistry, and you know, even when nothing doesn't mm -hmm. go well, they find a way. You know, and. They solved the problem. So I was believing in them, really, and uh, uh, I was sure, you know, that, as I said in the last press conference, we come here to win. All right. Michael, you had a great, um, a great seven days here in, in, in Kigali, talking about, you know, all the play. We've been looking at the great job that you've been doing on the, on the court. And uh, when we were speaking in the back room just before this press conference, the the watch phrase was hard work pace, and we see it today. Congratulations. How are you feeling tonight together with your amazing teammates? Thank you. Um, first, I just want to say before we start talking about the team or myself, this man right here, this man did an unbelievable job, and a lot of people didn't believe in this man, and I really love and appreciate this man because he stayed with the team and he stayed with us through thick and thin, and he didn't have to. And this man deserves flowers, and this man deserves this trophy. Thanks, thank you. Thanks. Second, um, you know, I put a lot of my father's from Oakland, California. He played basketball at San Jose State. Uh, he walked on there, and he left an all-time career assist leader. Um, when I first started playing basketball, he told me the first thing that you need to be as a basketball player is a good teammate before you even step on the court. You know. And I've took that with me everywhere I play. Uh, I work tremendous. I work very hard, and I love this game. If if I didn't get paid to play it, I would play it for free. Mm -hmm. You know. So this is just a culmination of a coach and a team coming together at the right time. And I'm really happy for the country of Tunisia, and I'm happy for a U.S. Monastery Club. You know, we worked really hard. We played every two days when we left the car. And we won a league championship domestically and a cup final domestically. Right. And now this is just the icing on the cake. Thank you, Mike. Do you have any questions for, for Mike and the, and the coach, Wuri? Bonjour, bonjour, coach. Oh, bonsoir, coach, pardon. Uh, félicitations. Je vais, parler en, en, je vais poser ma question en français. Uh, sorry, my English is not so good. <laughs> yeah, I'll translate, yeah, for you. OK. Uh, Juste une question pour les deux, hein, euh, le coach et, et, et le joueur. Euh, Est-ce qu'à la mi-temps, quand vous étiez mené de, de, de 7 points, vous avez douté euh, Coach, surtout le joueur, est-ce que vous avez douté Qu'est-ce que vous vous êtes dit dans les vestiaires 
pendant cette période-là où c'était quand même déterminant. Où on n'a pas vu Ben, ben euh, Sliman. Euh, il a mis que 4 points dans le match. C'était quoi C'est une pression C'était quoi exactement Merci. Ok. Ok, someone some translate. Yes, I'm translating, coach. Uh -huh. okay, okay. All right, good, coach. Um, the question was for, for both of you, but starting first of all with uh, Mike. Mike okay. Yes, about the fact that at the half of tonight's game, you were being led by seven points. Was there any point at the, the, during this game, especially during that critical point of the encounter, were you guys in any doubt of winning this final today? Um, Petro is a really good team, mm -hmm. a very good team. And uh, we tip our hats to them. They made it very tough for us during the entire game. They ran their sets. They got the ball inside. They shared the ball, and they hit open shots. And they made it really difficult for us. Yeah. We've been in uh, uh, countless wars this year and countless tough games and close games. So we were prepared, you know. We tried to keep playing defense and take them out of what, did they, wanted to, what they wanted to do. They were a great team, but uh, we was able to get the stops that we needed and score when we needed to late. And I think they just ran out of gas, but that's a championship team, uh, Petro, you know. But today we were fortunate enough to, to take the trophy. Yeah, and, and, and to you, Coach, the same question, but this time around, um, Vuri singled out um, Radwan Slimani, the coach. The fact that he, uh, the, the captain, he scored just four points today. Um, did you see any difficulty uh, with his game uh, tonight? And uh, how did you overcome that during the course of tonight's game? As Mike said, uh, our biggest strength was that we really make great chemistry. You know, mm -hmm. we had a lot of problems, right. you know, between us, mm -hmm. and uh, to make that and to deal with this, we was a lot of new people. Mm -hmm. But I think, you know, one day, you know, last game he was really good. Today Mike tank on himself. Mm -hmm. the last, you know, but the point is they were really wasn't selfish, right. and. Uh, I said, well, comparison, you told me, you you, start, you said about Monastir last year, Monastir this year. I wasn't in Monastir last year, but everybody, tournament, I think uh, last year was much, um, wasn't this level because it was Corona, it was hard, you know, to bring in foreigners. But I think that Monastir last year, for example, he had big chance to win. And, you know, they, like Balloon, you know, mm -hmm. first time when they made some problem, they lost 15, 20 points. This team, you know, we was really talking too much. You know, these guys was really great. Everybody helped me, each other, help each other, help to me. Same, you know, because, you know, it's two way street how we work. You know, they give me, I give them everything what they can, and they was really heroes. You know, because and I was sure that we cannot fall down. Mm -hmm. I was sure, you know, even if you play a bad game, they was today they want so much. First half we shoot 10 0 three points. This is not our team. Mm -hmm. You know, how uh, this team can really shoot. But he was shooting today 10-0, three points. And, you know, and even on then, Mike, we didn't shoot something so great. So we didn't have some special day today. But uh, they believe in themselves. Mm -hmm. They was helping each other, you know. We was changing until to find some real formula because everybody really wants. And if you saw our bench all the time, everybody stay on the legs. So that means, you know, we come with that positive energy. What one player said, uh, championship vibes. So we was really trying to, to do the best and uh, we do it. I want to, uh, to say that we have great opponent. Uh, Angola is a really serious team. So for sure cannot be so easy with them. Right. With, you know, Good team. Even Zamalek in the semi-final, which everybody here said that Zamalek is the main favorite, favorite when uh, when show here. Good. Question? Sorry. Um, Leonard Sons from ESPN, I got a question for both of you. Um, so you guys lost Ty Lawson recently, and heading into the, the tournament, to be honest, the first few games, I thought that, that you guys were, were still affected by, by that. Um, and to, to witness the transformation from then to now is, is incredible. Um, so am I, am I correct that the, the loss of Lawson hit you hard for a while? And if so, how did you how did you get over that? How did you improve from from the team you were at the start of the tournament that was struggling struggling to win most games, to this team that just 
finds a way through absolutely everything. Well, I will take to answer on that question. Tyloso was before I came in the team, you know. I came in the team uh, 8 of February. Mikey came 15 of February, you know. Uh, Solo Kilo Debate came 23. And we was in Majok same 1st of March. So actually we decided to play with three foreigners, not with four, to involve our players and local players. We was going a little bit on the risk. And we was a really new team. If you ask me about I, about I also, he's a really great player, but Mike Dixon take his role. So I don't see that, uh, you know, <laughs> show that, uh, like this we can show that uh, we make great, a great thing, you know. So I think that, you know, the in Senegal team was just really new. We have maybe seven, eight practices, 10, and, uh, you know, not all the team. Even Majok, uh, Mohtar, and uh, Marnaovi, they joined us direct in Senegal. So for us, it was really a problem. We are useful to be the team. In the Senegal, we was trying, starting to build the team. So I was much bigger optimist here than in Senegal. In Senegal, I said to the players, let's just get in the first four, and after that we will work, and after that we'll be a real team like we show that we are. Hey, my congratulations, my fellow accolade. My name is Edwin. I work for The New Times. There was a scene captured of you when you were so emotional at the end of the game, close to the end of the game. I just want to capture what was going through your mind at the moment. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I got a family, you know. Um, my father played, and uh, he taught me the game. And I really love this game, you know. And uh, there's a lot of good people you know, with this Monastery team, and I really wanted this for them, you know. Of course, for myself and for the coach and for the team, but it's a lot of people that really needed this in Tunisia, and I'm just really happy to give it to them and help give it to them, you know. Um, I play every game like it's my last, because you never know when it's going to be your last game, you know. So I'm just really happy, and that's pretty much it, you know. Thank you very much. If there are no other questions, it will be an opportunity for us to thank you again, Mike, for this thank you. great performance and congratulations for your personal uh, victory. Of course, most valuable prayer for this 2022 Basketball Africa League. Coach Perizic has always been a pleasure to have you here from uh, the, the, the conference stops right up to here to the finals. And coach, if you have just one last message for the huge basketball community in Tunisia and across Africa. What will be your last message tonight? Well, first of all, I'm very happy that uh, we, we was on this event. And I think that, you know, this African basketball really developed in this way. Second, I want to congratulate Mike uh, for, uh, you know, MVP, because I think he really deserved it because he was working very hard. And uh, third, uh, our president of the club, but really make huge efforts because in Tunisia is not so great financial situation. But he really make huge efforts somehow, you know, to yeah. to fix all and to, to, to have good team. The Bolimi, it's very hard for him to, you know, without not so many help to keep this team, you know. This team is maybe not so expensive, but again it's again it's too, you know, expensive and very good. So uh, message in Tunisia for Tunisian people and Tunisian fans invest a little bit, find solution. You have talents, you love basketball, a little bit more, you know, find find a way to invest in the, this beautiful game. Thank you so much, coach. Thanks a lot. Win. Well, it's not every day that